go like that. So here the die is, and I'm going to make it multiply or explode into eight little dice. Eight little dice then. I started doing magic like maybe April of 2019. I was in the hospital and they had like a, like a magic program. So I started doing that. I had to ask the doctor to repeat themselves, like, did you just tell me my son has cancer? Pretty surreal hearing that. We lived here. Yeah, we lived here. The chemo rounds would be like seven to 10 days and we'd be here uh, for that. We would usually go home for maybe two or three days and uh, he would either spike a fever or, you know, we would come in and he would need a platelet transfusion or a blood transfusion and we would end up back in the hospital. So for a period of about six months, we really lived here. Magic Aid is a community of healthcare providers, healthcare students who work together with the common goal of helping patients reestablish hope, reestablish joy, reestablish what it means to be a child even though they're in the hospital and sometimes suffering, sometimes in pain and often not the happiest they could be. Magic is something that really gives gives you hope. The student doctors came in and offered and said, you know, would Ian be interested in learning some magic tricks? That's kind of how it was introduced to us. And they started teaching him magic tricks and it was a great distraction. It was a great diversion from going, you know, dealing with chemo and not feeling well. Um, it was something he could engage with and then he could also kind of show off a little bit. You know, once he learned the tricks, he liked showing people, you know, that he could do them and baffling people. So it was, it was a nice distraction for him. We have this solid one piece of string I'll thread it through and we can slice it and as you can see split completely down the middle but like you said we need the magic word alakazam so will you say it with me right. one two three alakazam please pull it out it's now back into one piece i started working with ian over the summer and i worked with him until he basically finished his cancer treatment and was discharged home Alakazam. Magic therapy, I could tell, definitely made a difference and impacted Ian throughout his stay here. And by the end, he gained this newfound confidence. You could see he was more relaxed by the time we had reached the kind of conclusion of his um, therapy. If I say the magic word, I can multiply it into eight little dice. All right. The magic word, once again, is Alakazam. As a parent, anything that can help is beneficial. You're looking for anything that could distract him or occupy him or get his mind off of going through chemo and, uh, and it definitely did do that. You'd see kind of the life come back into him a little bit. Uh, after seeing him go through all the chemo and, you know, it was hard on him. So seeing him kind of start interacting with people and smiling and doing tricks was, was nice to see.